Hey everybody, Guy Hetherington back here on Blackcomb Mountain with some more performance ski tips for All Tracks Academy. And today, we're gonna put some flow in your skiing. Let's go for a rip down here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Have you ever noticed how some skiers seem to stay very light on their feet and have a naturally fluid way of guiding their skis down the hill regardless of terrain or snow conditions? This is what I call skiing with flow. And while some people pick it up more naturally than others, I believe it's a talent everybody can learn with practice. So today we're going to work towards one of the all-time classic exercises, the garland. This is a really effective drill because it's one of only a few exercises to focus in on that part between one turn and the next. This is a very important phase and if we're genuine about putting more flow into our skiing, then this is where we'll need to focus. Let's take a look at the garland in final form before we begin to assemble it piece by piece from the ground up. So as you can see from the demo, garlands are performed while skiing diagonally across the hill and have you repeatedly linking the end of one turn into the beginning of the next. I think of this as a sort of catch and release and when it is done well, it really does promote a fluid and graceful type of skiing. Let's start this one off with a stock standard diagonal side slip. Here we should establish a little natural lead change, line up the hips and shoulders against it, and then release into the slip. The most common trap here is to allow the hip to come around during the release. Be sure it is kept open all the way through the side slip. Once you are comfortable here, try to release into a diagonal side slip from a clean traverse. And then back into the traverse. I call this a straight catch and release because at this stage, I'm not looking to turn the skis in any way. Just keep them pointing in the same direction across the hill. For an added challenge, try this one from a stationary position. Now, to bring this drill close to a full garland, all we need to do is add in some steering. This should be a twisting effort that comes from your legs. And during the catch phase, when the skis are loaded with pressure, this action will need to be strong and dynamic. In contrast, as your skis are released, almost no effort is needed at all. Just think about assisting the pull of gravity as it draws your skis towards the foreline. And at this point, you should try to remain as patient and relaxed as possible. The contrast between a strong catch and an easy release is the key to building a fluid technique. Okay, get out there and practice some garlands. But take your time with this one. Work to perfect each part of this progression before building into final form. Because when you do, I guarantee you'll be skiing with more flow. This has been Guy Hetherington at All Tracks Academy, coming to you with more online ski training.